Creating the new costumes for Destiny 2 was very exciting for us. It's the new game in the franchise, there's a lot of hype around it, and the designs are awesome. The 3D modeling process had to research what the reference material for the uh, particular helmet I was making and then I basically start with a square in Maya and then sort of block it out from there. So some of the considerations you have to make with um, a lot of 3D models is when you, it's on the computer a lot of uh, the detail is not physically there, it's rather it's textured so you need to actually model that into the design so it will actually show up when it's printed in the physical world. Once all the parts were printed, our fabrication team took them to do the body shopping work to them. Smoothing, detailing, and finishing off the pieces. Once all the parts were finished and molds were made, we began replicating urethane and fiberglass copies of those parts. For all the fabric elements for the Destiny costumes, uh, we started by patterning everything and then creating mock-ups so we could do a test fitting to make sure everything sat how we wanted. We had to integrate a huge number of different, not necessarily easily compatible materials to put the suits together and make that integration seamless. Before we sent off the Destiny costumes, we decided to grab the chance to get some portfolio photos. So we called up a few of our friends, enlisted our fellow seamstress, Kiga, and went outside of our shop to our apocalyptic wasteland of a parking lot. <laughs> Usually I'm pretty present in the construction of the actual costumes, but wearing them is a different experience. Since my face was covered and I had a full hood up, uh, vision was a little bit more challenging. It was kind of interesting having a crowd of people around telling me, do this, do that, like more like this. It was, it was a lot of fun. 